Hey folks, it's Ken Pulse back here with Data Monkey for another episode of Monkey Shorts. And in this week's episode, we are going to be looking at Power Query documentation. So what I'm looking at right now is I'm going to show you my web browser here. Um, when I'm looking for some documentation on M functions, uh, what I will do is I'll do a search for Power Query M function reference. And that takes me to this link here, Power Query M function reference, which takes me to this page directly. And what I like about this is that it's outside of my Power Query editor, so I can actually look at this while I'm in the middle of building a Power Query. Uh, everything's sort of organized by the different classifications, so I could come down and say, let's look at a list function, for example. I want something to combine a list. List.combine sounds promising, so I can actually drill through and see what's going on in this area. So that's one way of using this stuff. On the other hand, I also know a bunch of people who are really big fans of just doing everything right inside Power Query. And for that reason, let me go flip back over to Excel here. You'll notice that we have another way to actually deal with this. And it is this, we use equals hash shared. And that's a keyword, hash shared. When you hit enter, it will bring you up this big listing of stuff here. Now the key is in order to be able to use this, what you wanna do is you wanna turn this into a table. And once you've done that, you've now got a nice little filter here where you can go and say, I'd like to do a filter for everything that starts with list dot. We can say, okay, and this will give us all the list functions. So now I can quickly go and scroll down this thing and see if I can find one. Oh, here's one list dot combine. Now the secret with this, is there's two ways to use this one. I'm going to click in the white space right here beside this, and you'll see that it brings up the entire documentation here, which looks very similar to the website. And if I click on the actual function itself, it will offer to invoke it. I'm just gonna cancel that, and then gives me the entire documentation here. And this documentation should match what's on the website exactly, because it's all machine generated and whatnot. So if you want to get to your documentation without leaving Power Query, just create a new query, just right click, new query from other sources, blank query, equals hash shared, turn it into a table, filter it down, you can drill in. If you prefer to have your documentation outside in your web browser, then at that point, do that search for Power Query M function reference. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the SkillWave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.